Dear Lord, it's me, Mary, your humble servant. You know I don't have a father, and soon will be separated from my mother, so I can go to serve you. Dear God, grant me the strength to tolerate being away from my mother and give her strength to accept this separation. I know that it will be hard, and so I pray that you will bless and watch over us. I'm afraid. Mary will be leaving me soon. I still remember how hard the days were after her birth. How very hard they were. I never thought I would encounter anything more difficult than that. I'm afraid of how they might treat her. The Pharisees, scribes, rabbis, lobbyists. Because you're here, I'm not worried. I know I shouldn't. Visit her. And I need to get used to this. If I don't, it won't be in line with my offering. I always knew deep down in my heart that she carries a divine message of God. And I should not have become so attached to her. Her destiny lies in the temple. It doesn't lie here with me, not with me here. And I know I cannot escape this separation. I do know that. I've always forced myself to push this... <laughs> difficult day out of my mind, but now... Now... The day... of separation is finally here. I... I was caught unawares. And I'm overwhelmed by it, Zachariah. After all, I am a mother. Bring Mary here. I must get a hold of myself. Say goodbye to your mother.
Goodbye, Mary, my love. Goodbye, Mary. Hey! Hey! Hey, Mary's coming! Rabbis of the temple! Gentlemen! Hey! Zedekiah! Zedekiah! The commandments of Judaism are absolute law! <gasps> Zedekiah! <They must>... <gasps> Zechariah is bringing Mary to the temple! He's so he's brother. Brother. Oh, we must go and see! I just don't know about this. I don't know whether I can stand to watch such an abomination. I guarantee not a cheaper price to be found in this whole market. Do give my Good to see you again. Thanks. have new new stock arrived. I don't like these fabrics. Oh, So, Zachariah, you finally got what you wanted, did you? Huh? Ah! We're here now. There's the temple. Look, it's Imran's daughter. Oh! Was it to trade? I think you'll find that two more stalls then.
Welcome to Solomon's Temple, Mary. Don't be afraid. This is the Sanctum. It's where the rabbis of the temple pray. You're not allowed to go in there. Do you understand? Yes. Let's go. Have a look, Mary. This is your hut. Welcome to the temple, Mary. I will pray for you that you may be cured of this terrible unhappiness. Let's go to the temple together one day. You might feel more at peace there and you can give yourself a break from the hustle and bustle of the palace. The temple. That place is filled with two-faced, <laughs> hypocrite rabbis. They're the main cause of my weariness anyway. But they do say that someone there has recently breathed new life into the temple. Who are you talking about? They say it's a girl called Mary. Mary, huh? <laughs> Mary, the daughter of Imran. <laughs> oh, Mary, my dear wife. What does that six-year-old child have to make her worthy of intruding upon my privacy? This kind of talk pleases only commoners. It's beneath you. And Miriam, isn't it time you stop believing in these things and focus on us for a change? You know how much I love you, my dear. Sure, it's true I married you for political reasons, but then you captivated me. And yet you deny me even an affectionate smile as your spouse. Don't I deserve that? Have you ever seen anyone smile affectionately at her father's killer even if she wanted? To overcome her hatred, she couldn't. Do you think I hate affection? But what can I feel for the prison warden who keeps me imprisoned inside of these walls? I wish I could love you, but I just can't. I don't have the power to take my revenge. I can only withhold my love from you. Why must you torment me, Miriam? I am your king. I am your lawful husband, but you behave so arrogantly toward me. How can I eliminate this hatred from your heart? Tell me. 
I worry that anger will interfere with my love for you. And what then? Don't worry about that, Herod. I'm sure your sister can't wait for that moment to arrive. Do you mean me? Hail King Herod the Great. I assume you were talking about me. Am I right? <laughs> Everyone talks about you outside the walls of this palace. I guess they should count themselves lucky their comments don't penetrate the thick walls of this palace for me to hear. Otherwise... I'll take my leave of you now. True, but it seems that way. So let's just pray that everything happens and falls into place. Yes, we will be all right. I'm sure I didn't know. Yes, yes. It makes you more hope so. Yes, it does. Well, we must have faith for we'll continuing our work. That's all we can do. That's right. Good idea. Just have faith. Let's just carry on. Hello, Anna. Are you... going somewhere? Yes. I've come here to seek your wise counsel. Where will you go? Well, I've run out of patience, Zachariah. Wherever I go, it seems I only see the evil and darkness in people. I want to go and sit in the temple and pray to God, to plead with Him, to guide these poor people. It's been a long time since the last temple set in. You'll be all alone. I'm all alone now as well. Besides, I won't be alone while Mary's there. At least I won't feel so. God be with you. John, how many times have I told you now? You need to memorize the Torah in chapters. But each and every time I ask you to show what you've learned, you come back with some excuse. Joshua, explain the lesson on permissible and non-permissible meats, please. I was busy with the sacrifice ceremony last night. I didn't have time I to... I strictly learn. instructed every one of you to revise your lessons. Your shortcomings are unacceptable. I expect you to study more. Moshe, can you? I didn't know we were supposed to memorize this lesson. What about the lesson on sacrifices? Is anyone able to recite that? Why don't we ask Mary? Yeah. Good idea. Why don't we ask her? <laughs> ask Mary? <laughs> yes, ask Mary. That should be entertaining. <laughs> Very well, then. Come closer, please, Mary. Can you explain which meats are permissible and which ones are forbidden? Are you sure? Please. 
The meat of any animal that has a split hoof and ruminates is considered clean and halal. This excludes camels and rabbits, because although they ruminate, they don't have split hooves. Pigs are impure because although they have split hooves, they don't ruminate. And about the different sacrifice types? There are eight different types of sacrifice. The burnt offering, the peace offering, the sin offering, the trespass offering, the guilt offering, food and drink offerings, communion offerings, and gift offerings. Each of these can be divided into two groups, the blood offerings, which should be from clean animals, and non-blood offerings. Adam's two sons, Cain and Abel, were the first people to offer sacrifice. Abraham was also about to offer his beloved son as a sacrifice to God after being commanded to do so. But the Lord sent a ram for him to sacrifice in place of his son and let his son Ismael live. Mary, please tell us, where have you learned all of these lessons? I've been taught the laws and foundations of religion by Zachariah. How could Zachariah teach you that? You know it all by heart. He's God's messenger. He taught to me from the holy book and about the science of religion, both of which lie in his heart. Zachariah is the only one who can validate the true laws of religion. And I am his student. Well, good for you, Mary. Maybe sometime you could spare a moment to teach us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't interfere with these matters, Mary. What are you even doing here? Get back to work! Uh, well, go! <laughs> she is very peculiar. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Wait till I get my hands on you! And you! Get back to your studies! What are you staring at? Hmm? Look at her. She's sweeping the ground near the stairs of the sanctum. What are you doing near those stairs, girl? Get away! Hasn't Zachariah told you not to go near the holy place? Have you already forgotten, you silly little girl? that you're washing belong to the temple's servants. Oh, don't you ever stop working? Dear God, I ask that you watch over and protect my mother, Zachariah, Elizabeth, and everyone else. Please keep them all well and in comfort through your mercy and compassion. Who is that woman that's sitting next to the courtyard window? It's been a long time since anyone stays to sit in at the temple. Oh, it's you again. 
I know this woman. What are you doing here? The rabbis think they're closer to God just because they live in the temple, but this is false. God lives within our hearts, not in your tall towers. His messenger will eventually come and eliminate the unjust tyrants. And who is this? Who's meant to come? The Messiah, of course. The Messiah? The Messiah's supposed to come, eh? That's right. Have you seen any signs of him? I have. The oppression and injustice over the years, which you've inflicted upon people is a sign that he will come and give our lives back to us. Yes, the Messiah will come. Who's going to believe all this nonsense? You're insane! Fill these jugs and bring them here as soon as you can. Our poor Mary is tolerating harsh circumstances. Our enemies have all joined forces to harass her and make her work extra hard whenever I'm not at the temple. Jeroboam is in charge of the lobbyists and servants. He enjoys seeing them punish her. Don't they have any shame? They show their hatred for you by tormenting this innocent child. I only hope that Hannah hasn't heard about the way they're harassing poor Mary. Is that Zachariah? Zachariah? Were you talking about Mary? How is she doing? What have you heard about her? I go to Jerusalem tomorrow. Jerusalem? Send her my love, Zachariah. Elizabeth? What is it? Nothing. Everything is fine. Sister, be honest. I can see you're both upset. Is there any news about Mary? That you two are hiding from me? When? You've never lied to me. Elizabeth. Does it concern Mary? I'm supposed to mash this up. Hurry up. Jeroboam will be here soon, and don't forget these have to be ready by tomorrow. I see. For the festival. Will these be used for incense that's to be burnt in the sanctum at tomorrow's celebration? Yes, that's right. What day is it tomorrow, anyway? Tomorrow is the biggest Jewish holiday. It is God's greatest day. The gracious Lord will be looking to and upon us tomorrow. Say, Mary, do you know what's in the sanctum anyway? Nothing. Behind that door, behind the holy barrier, there is nothing. Nothing? Yes. The sanctum is completely empty. Empty? The stone tablets of Moses, they used to be kept in there in the past, but the tablets aren't there any longer. Nobody at all has permission to enter into that room, except for the head rabbi of each sect. And they only go there once a year, to dust the room, keep it clean, and make it fragrant. I've learned all these things from Zachariah, so I know they're true. I've heard that it'll be his turn to enter the sanctum as well in only a few years' time. Yes, 
He's been waiting for years for that moment to arrive. It's Issachar! Mary, get out of here. If Issachar sees you near the Sanctum, he'll punish you. Look, his headache started again. They say he's not a bad person, but I'm afraid of him. He always gets those headaches. He offers sacrifices for himself sometimes, and everyone respects him, because he's Zachariah's successor, and he's also the second eldest in the Aliyah tribe. He's part of your family. You must know him. Yes, I know who he is. For my lady. Herod's sister and his spies are everywhere. It's over there. I'll go this way. Excuse me, madam. Can I help you? Is Imran's daughter here? Can I see her? Yes. Have you traveled far to come? What does she look like? Her name is Mary. She's six years old. Her small hands are a blessing to all they touch. Her face is as beautiful as a smile. And the sound of her footsteps is comforting. It's almost as though they never touch the ground. What exactly are you seeking here? I don't know what I'm looking for, but I long to see her. Maybe she has the answers to my questions. There are many people who come here every day just to get a glimpse of little Mary. But there aren't many who come to request things. Something in your eyes makes it apparent that you're very eager to see her. And so you've reached her. There she is! that Jeroboam's waited for this. But watch out for him. That Jeroboam really enjoys beating his servants. Just never get in his way. Don't give him an excuse to hit you. Look. He wants to enter the sanctum. He's taking the holy incense with him. Oh, how I wish... 
wish I could go and enter that place with him. Shh! Don't ever say that again. Do you realize what the rabbis would do to you if they heard you say such a thing? Uh, Miriam! 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 All I hear is Miriam did this, Miriam did that! That's enough, sister! When are you going to stop being so suspicious towards her? Just listen to me carefully. Those kings who are not shrewd politicians tend to lose their power very quickly, Herod. And because of your love for this woman, you fail to see her surreptitious scheming. Which surreptitious scheme is that? I do believe you have forbidden her from communicating with people outside the palace. Am I right? Are you telling me that she has broken this rule? <laughs> My dear brother, you're just so naive. Like I told you, you failed to see her scheming. All I can say... ...is that she went to the temple last night. <gasps> she went to the temple, you say? Yes. She went to see that young girl, Imran's child. That very same child whom the Jewish extremists publicized for the sole purpose of weakening your monarchy, Herod. No. No, I find it hard to believe that Miriam would disobey me. She wouldn't do that to me. You don't believe me. No. Her. If you won't believe truth, then what will you believe? Believe that she's more popular among the Jews than you are. That the Jews adore her more than they do you. You're still known as the tyrant who seized her father's throne. People will continue to remember the Hasmonean dynasty for as long as Miriam is alive. And no matter how hard we try, we won't be able to reduce their influence on the no. people. Just stop it! That's enough! I don't want to hear another word! I'm sick of this! I'm sick of it! Come. I want you to keep watching Miriam closely. Report back any meetings she has with the Jewish extremists. Go. Just wait, Miriam. I'll have you in my grip sooner or later. But what you say contradicts what's written in the Torah. No, no, no! What I say is right. Stop asking so many questions. Get out of here! What is the trouble, Michael? Why are you so distressed? It's all because of this girl. My students are seeking answers to their questions from her. What's wrong with that? They're looking for a convincing answer. Come on, Jeroboam, this is serious. My classes are in a mess. And my own students don't listen to me anymore. Doesn't this place have a leader? Who should the servants of this temple listen to, huh? To you, or to that young girl? You're starting to become very impudent, Michael. It seems to me that I can see a future where you and I will sit before Mary and listen to her teaching us the lessons. Mary!
Anna, is that you there? Hello and good day, Zachariah. Hello. I want to stay and keep praying here until he sends us the Savior he's promised. And this way I won't be too far from Mary either. I always see her every day. Whenever she washes the rabbi's dishes, just out there. I've been waiting to see her all day. I don't know why, but she hasn't come yet. The dishes have all piled up and she hasn't come to collect them. Go see what's happened, Zachariah. Mary's not the type to refrain from working. Hello, Mary. Hello. You didn't go to work today? I've brought you something to eat. Your mother asked me to give you this bread. Your face. My God. What's happened to you? It's... it's not important. How can it not be important? It's not important. What happened to your hand? Dear Lord, who's done this to you? Tell me who hit you. Don't tell my mother or she'll worry. Tell her I'm well. I'm well. 